This AP question from 1995 AP Physics B and the topics um, that covered in this question are the ones that taught in AP Physics 1 now. So in this problem they say part of the track of an amusement park roller coaster is shaped as shown above. A safety bar is oriented lightwise along the top of each car. In one roller coaster car, a small 0.1 kilogram ball is suspended from this bar by a short length of light, um, inextensible string. So for the first question, they say initially the car is at rest at point A. On the diagram below, draw and label all the forces acting on the 0.1 kilogram ball. So the only forces we have acting on the ball would be the tension force from the string and the force of gravity. For the next question, they say calculate the tension in the string. So because there is um, no acceleration and the car is at rest, then the tension in this case is going to be equal to mg or the tension minus mg is equal to ma and there is no acceleration so I used f net is equal to ma. The net forces are the tension and mg. Tension is positive, it's pointing up and mg is negative, it's pointing down and there is no acceleration in this case so the tension so acceleration would be equal to zero, the, um, the card is at rest. So we have tension is equal to mg. So the tension is equal to the mass, which is 0.1 kilogram times g, which is 10, and gives me one Newton. For the next question, they say that the car is then accelerated horizontally, goes up um, a 30 degree incline, goes down a 30 degree incline and then goes around a vertical circular loop of radius 25 meters. For each of the four situations described in part B to E, do all three of the following. In each situation, assume that the ball has stopped swinging back and forth. So for the first question, they ask, determine the horizontal component of the tension force, which is TH, of the tension and the string in newtons and record your answer in the space provided. And then we have to do determine the vertical component of the tension force and uh, for the third one we would have to show the adjacent diagram the approximate direction of this string with respect to the vertical and um, so we have to look at different cases and then for the first case they give us is when the car is still moving horizontally so here we have the horizontal motion of the car and we have to determine uh, what is asked in one, two, and three for each case that they will provide. So for the first case, they give you that acceleration of the car is five meters per second squared. So when the car is accelerating, then the, um, the ball, the one that's hanging on the string, is going to be deflected by some angle theta and the forces acting on the ball are going to be the tension force and the force of gravity mg and the tension force is going to have the vertical and horizontal components so here is going to be the horizontal component and here is going to be the vertical component and then i have this angle theta right here so i'm going to call that angle theta um, the vertical component I'm going to call it TY, the way they, they call it TY, and the horizontal component is TX. So this part is TX. From that right triangle, if this is theta and this is TY and this is TX and this is T, then I can say that the sine theta is equal to TX over T and cosine theta is equal to ty over t. From here I can write that tx is equal to t sine theta 
and ty is equal to t cosine theta where t is the tension i will do next is the net force is equal to ma so i will have f net is equal to ma and i'm gonna write it on x and y axis so on y axis we have ty pointing up and mg pointing down so it's negative and vertically there is no acceleration so for ma i will have a zero for horizontal forces i only have tx and it is pointed in the direction of the acceleration so there's no other horizontal forces that there are present and equals to ma and acceleration is given so from here i can find tx right away and tx is going to be the mass which is 0.1 times the acceleration which is 5 and that gives me 0.5 newtons for the next question i have to find ty or t vertical as they say here so ty is going to be mg and that one is 1 newton because 0.1 times 10 gives me 1 newton. In this question, we see that the car is uh, in the incline and the angle is 30 degrees. And the car is at point C and is being pulled at 30 degree incline with a constant speed of 30 meters per second. So we have the car on the first incline at point C and being pulled uh, up at the constant speed of 30 meters per second. So we have to find the same, the uh, vertical component of the tension and the horizontal component of the tension. So if we have the ball in this position, the forces acting on the ball are going to be the tension force and the force of gravity. Because velocity is uh, constant, there is no acceleration. Uh, horizontally and there is no horizontal component of the uh, of the tension vector so we only have two forces acting one is acting up and the other one is acting down and in this case for f net is equal to um, a you only have the vertical component of the tension force which is t and minus mg and there is no um, acceleration horizontally or vertically, so that is zero. So the tension is equal to mg, and it's a vertical tension, and that is equal to one newton in this case. So we have horizontally, there is zero newtons, and vertically, there is one newton. The mass is 0.1, and g is 10. For the next question, we're gonna look at the position where the car is at point D. And there is an angle of 30 degrees inclined if the card is at the angle of 30 degrees on the incline and um, moving at point d with acceleration of five meters per second squared so for this question we don't know exactly whether the ball is going to be perpendicular to the surface at which the car is moving down or maybe it will not be so I'm assuming that it's not so I'm gonna make the position of the ball something like this where it is not perpendicular to uh, the surface at which the car is moving and then the forces act in our tension and mg and then I'm gonna write oh and then we have acceleration right so here is the acceleration again and then I'm going to write the forces for the tension in mg separately. And in this case, it's a little bit different problem because we don't know if tension force um, is perpendicular or not to, um, to the surface or so that angle that I'm drawing right now. We don't know if that angle is 90 degrees or not, so I cannot assume it is 90 degrees. So what I have to do for the tension force I have to figure out its vertical and horizontal components. So if this is the surface at which the car is driving 
and this is the angle theta then I look at the horizontal component of T so if this is T if I look at the horizontal component of T then this angle is also theta and this part right here is going to be my ty and this part right here is tx um, so now if i look at the forces acting on the so here is mg at the ball and i also have acceleration so acceleration i will have to break in, break into x and y components as well so this will be my y component of acceleration this will be my x component of acceleration and here is the angle so here i will have a cosine theta and the vertical one is going to be a sine theta so now i'm going to write the f equals to ma f net is equal to ma and i'm going to write for x and y and you a is going to have the components it's not going to be just a as we usually do the problem it's going to have the horizontal and vertical component for a so for f net vertically vertically i have ty minus mg and equals to negative m a sine theta so instead of writing a, I will have a sine theta for the vertical component of acceleration. And then for tx, there is no other horizontal forces acting on the mass, only tx. So that's the net force on x, and that one is equal to m times the acceleration but again acceleration is broken into horizontal and vertical so that is a cosine theta so if you look at this a right here on the graph so i have a sine and a cosine so that's the a sine and a cosine i have over there so a sine and a cosine for the vertical and horizontal components of the acceleration then i can solve for tx from here so tx is going to be the mass which is 0.1 then i have acceleration which is 5 and cosine of 30 degrees and that will give me 0.43 newtons and if i solve for ty so right here is my ty then i have ty is equal to mg minus ma sine theta so ty is equal to mg 0.1 times 10 gives me 1 minus m 0.1 acceleration is 5 that gives me 0.5 and then i have sine of 30 degrees so ty is equal to 0.75 newtons so I, our answers for this section a little bit more complicated than the other ones. For horizontal component, I have 0.43 newtons. And for vertical component, I have 0.75 newtons. And for the last question in this problem, they say, now if the car is at the point E moving upside down with instantaneous speed of 25 meters per second, so it's at point E, and moving at 25 meters per second and no tangential acceleration is present so that means it's moving at the constant uh, speed not constant velocity because velocity changes the, the direction but the speed is the magnitude of the velocity and stays constant 25 meters per second so the question is find again the horizontal and vertical component of tension forces acting on the ball in this position so if the ball is in, in this position when it is moving in a circular motion and the forces that are acting on the ball are the tension force and the force of gravity 
And in this case, you have centripetal acceleration, and centripetal acceleration is toward the center of uh, the motion, of the circular motion. So if this is the circle, then the center is somewhere right here. So acceleration, the centripetal acceleration is going to be toward the center. So for F net, I will have MA, but in this case, again, second Newton's law, in this case, your centripetal acceleration is your A. So the forces that are acting on the ball in that position are negative tension force, because it's pointing down, minus MG, and equals to negative MAC. And centripetal acceleration has its own formula, which is V squared over R. Now, if we, there is going to be no horizontal component of the tension, so that one is going to be zero newtons. But for the vertical component, this is the only one that we have, so that is a vertical component. So to solve for T, I will have T is equal to MAC minus MG, or T or TY is equal to, or T vertical. So I have... Um, m is 0.1 centripetal acceleration there is no tangential acceleration but there is a centripetal acceleration which is v squared which is 25 squared over the radius and the radius of the loop they say is 25 meters and minus the mass times g which is 0.1 times 10 minus 1. so the vertical component is going to be equal to uh, one of the 25s can be cancelled. So 0.1 times 25 gives you 2.5 minus 1. So the vertical component in this position is going to be 1.5 newtons. And that is all I have for this question uh, from 1995 AP Physics B. Um, now it would be AP Physics 1 material. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and it was useful. And if you like it, push the button like and I will see you in my next videos.